Still in politics, the deputies are elected on a ticket with their counterparts for five years' term. Their mandate being to serve in as acting governor or president in the absence of their heads, which makes a whole job in selecting the right person who to work with. As Mariam Jahid delves with the details, according to political analyst Martin Andati, most heads choose their deputies to complement their leadership, but it turns out not being compatible after the assumption of office. The deputy governors are the next in line should the governor be impeached or die while in office. As was the case in Nairobi County and Kananu took over after Michael Sonko was impeached late last year. The constitution, however, does not stipulate any ways in which a deputy governor can be removed from office, making the position a safe haven. Since devolution started, there has been cases of deputies being at loggerheads with their governors and political analyst Martin Andati cites political interests are the main cause of most fallouts. Then you have cases where you have a deputy who feels uh, they, with the time that uh, they also want to become governors. Their ambitions uh, drive them. So that causes uh, a disagreement. There are others who feel uh, they have been given a raw deal in terms of sharing uh, the resources that have been are available in the county in terms of jobs, in terms of business opportunities. So that also causes a problem. The victims here would be the citizens because the process of implementation of the constitution and development of county structures might stall if the county bosses are not in good terms. Does the solution lie in changing the constitution to allow for the change or impeachment of a deputy governor? <laughs> Rais ama naibu, rais ama governor kitolewa, hile naibu wake ndi atachukua zile hatamu bila kupitia kwa chaguzi. Kwa hivyo, wakati muta anachagua yule ambaye anakuwa mgombezi mwenza, lazima afikirie hile oswala, alitilie manani. Kwa hivyo, haitakani zile nguvu zao kupunguzwa. Inabakia vile vilivyo. Earlier today, newly sworn in Nairobi Governor Ann Kananu has nominated former councillor Paul Mutunga Mutongi as her deputy. The, uh, politics is uh, about numbers. So they want somebody who either brings numbers or somebody who is able to, to, to bring in uh, serious numbers of votes. They also consider regional balance. They also, of course, gender has now become an issue. And uh, somebody, you expect somebody who will be able to to, 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 to fill up the gaps that you could be having in terms of uh, performance as an individual. Those are supposed, that is supposed to be the ideal arrangement. The caution in choosing a deputy does not only apply in the county level, but reflects to the nation top seat. Until now, presidential aspirants have not yet announced their deputies, weighing in between choosing one who will aid in securing the victory and one who will make it their service delivery smooth once elected into office. There have been rising cases of deputies having a rift with their counterparts after they assume office. Is it coincidental or intentional? Reporting for Switch, I'm Mariam Mjahid.